Hey everybody, welcome into Northern Life. I'm Briggs here with Hunter and special guest host Kendall Jarbo today while Ryan is still on vacation. So thank you so much for being here. Thanks guys. for having me. It's always a good time. I know, oh I think gosh. last time you were here was your birthday. You're I right! It was, mm -hmm. yeah, oh, a couple months cool. ago. I should have kept the balloons and the hats <laughs> just for the heck <laughs> yeah. of it, right? <laughs> I think they're still down here. We could yeah. put them back. Oh, well, I'll just lift them up out yeah. of the desk. Exactly. Festive. <laughs> you were talking before the show, uh, now that we've had Paul yesterday, uh, we've got you today, we've got Heidi tomorrow, yes. and just a secret uh, right there. But uh, everyone, no one's had the opportunity to sit on the stools yet. True. Back in the day, we were all standing. Now we've got These furnished. Are some nice chairs. Aren't they cool? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you get to relax, put your feet up a little bit. Yeah. It's like, yeah it feels Living cool. in luxury up it's here. Like a break. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, we're sitting down there, now we're sitting up here. It's perfect, but yeah, we've got a lot going on on today's show. A lot of fun planned going on for the rest of today. And you may have spotted the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile in the Twin Ports lately. Well, we did a little digging and figured out why exactly it's here. Yeah, it was kind of by the station yesterday, it I believe. It was. I spotted it as I was leaving work. It was too funny. I've never seen it in person before. <laughs> it's the coolest thing. You never know what you're going to see in Canal no, Park, right? Really. No. Shocking stuff. Wild. <laughs> I love it. Hey, and coming up later, Hunter and Briggs are given blank canvases, and Ryan challenges them to paint each other. We will show you the hilarious final product. Yeah, truly, truly <laughs> hilarious. But before we get to all of that, yesterday was a massive one for the United States men's gymnastics team. They took home the bronze medal in the all-around team competition, their first Olympic medal since 2008. So oh. cool. Just small things there. <laughs> attention is Steven Nursik. He is on the team for one event and one event only, the pommel horse, which before now I had never even heard of the pommel yeah, horse, nope. but that's his one event <laughs> and he certainly shined last night. Let's take a watch. National championships helping me pinch his spot on Team USA. Uh, he's now though being called the Clark Kent of men's gymnastics. He <laughs> took off those glasses just to compete in that pommel horse event last night. Uh, he says he actually has an eye condition that basically means he's cross-eyed, so he oh. has to wear his glasses, hmm. and I've read up a little bit about him. He apparently uh, can't see so well on the pommel horse, so he uses his hands just to kind of feel around sure. wow. where he's at. He's also uh, really good at the Rubik's Cube. Oh, he sure. completed one in 9.3 seconds uh, and has been dating his girlfriend now for about eight years. Aww. Very sweet. Lois uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> Maybe. I, when I was watching that last night in the primetime rebroadcast, I could not believe, uh, you know, just how much pressure Steven was under because yeah. the whole team had gone on all the other events and then he just specializes in that one thing. Yeah. So we just had to sit back and kind of chill until it was time to go. For like three and a half hours, right. too. I'm just waiting. I can't even imagine something like that. I'd be so stressed. I would have fallen immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I could even do the pommel horse no, in the first place. But. I could. I'd have no luck uh, no. with that regard. But Kendall, you also have a family member who bears some eerily similar qualities to Mr. Nadorsik. Yeah, I was watching last <laughs> night and I kept watching him and I'm like, he looks so familiar. I have a little brother who I think looks so much like him. There he is. His name yep. is Brett. And I'm watching this and I'm, I feel like he is just like Brett. I don't know, what do you guys think? I agree. You sent me these photos and I was like, no, that could be Steven. What a stud in the glasses <laughs> there too, yeah. yeah. You gotta start calling him Clark Kent. I know, <laughs> right? Superman or something. I told him, I'm like, Brett, you're gonna be on Northern Life today. <laughs> <laughs> His big debut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> and hey, we don't wanna give away any spoilers, but the women's gymnastics team competed in the team finals today, along with Simone Biles and the rest of the crew. Minnesotan Suni Lee will take the floor on what's being called Team USA's Redemption Tour and BC is it's quite yet because I've been working night shift but yeah. um, so I was watching Paris's team and I feel kind of bad for Paris's team because they're the home team right. and yeah. they didn't really they didn't do so for gymnastics high. yeah yeah but, but yeah, uh, so bad. meanwhile I'm sprawled out on the couch <laughs> and I'm watching Paris's team and I'm like how could she miss that, that <laughs> bowl twice? You know, the bowl bean twice? I'm sprawled out in a cutoff shirt. Are you eating and I'm, like your chips yeah. or something too? I've got my Greater Jack's pizza we'll drenched be. in hot sauce. Like, what am I? What am I doing? I shouldn't be judging anybody. Uh, right. I feel like uh, the athletes feel a similar sentiment, though. They get that kind of couch criticism from people For at home, sure. and they're like, yes. hey, "You get out here, you get to try." <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Man. Uh, I have a funny story today too. Yesterday, as I was leaving work, I spotted something I've never seen before: the Oscar Mayer <laughs> Wiener Mobile. It was hanging out in the Canal Park Lodge parking lot. So I just had to run over and take a picture, of course. Uh, I was wondering why it was here. But then I saw Super One Food shared that it's going to be making some special stops at their grocery stores this week, including the Duluth Miller Hill 
uh, Mall location and the Cloquet locations tomorrow. Then it's going to visit the Iron Range on Saturday with a stop in Grand Rapids nice. Saturday afternoon too. So I was kind of surprised. Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger in person. Oh, like, interesting. Really? Wow. Really it was just kind of like, you know, like I, I, smaller than an RV, I guess. I was yeah. expecting like RV size. You know, we always get to see the outside of it. I always want to see the inside. Like how, True. Do, do they do they sleep in the in the Wienermobile? Like so, the people driving it? <laughs> I did peek my head into the windows. You I did. don't know if this is kosher or not. <laughs> uh, that was an unintended uh, <laughs> joke. Uh, but I did not see any beds. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I have to do a little more research on that. Coming up, we're not exactly artists, but we gave it our best shot. We painted each other, me and Briggs, and right after the break. Welcome back, everyone. You may have seen the social media trend where family members or significant others are asked to paint each other, only revealing their final product at the very end. Yeah, well, recently, Ryan challenged Briggs and I to paint each other, and let's just say it turned out interesting. Yeah, right. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and you can take off your blindfold. Uh -oh. Oh. <gasps> are we painting something? I've ever painted each other. Oh. <laughs> You are indeed painting each other. Painting each other. Show it to each other after. No I'm gonna way. give you. I'm gonna give you 15 minutes to see oh. Oh my how well God. you can do. I'm so excited. you got brushes there. Okay. Okay. You got. Minutes. You got your little. I'll leave these as a you know kind of like paint making areas. Uh, sure. Sure. Yeah. My <laughs> and then I got paper towels for you. I need a Okay. Which one's the best? Uh -oh. What's well, the at least dark Ryan's here? not partaking because we know he would be the best. <laughs> he seriously would be. Four Stand still. I think that's all right right there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here. Okay. I wish I painted more. That's kind of how I feel mostly blindfolds because you're sitting there like, wow, I really wish I <laughs> insert activity here. See? I have to paint multiple colors. I know. I'm going to Only solid colors from here on out. You didn't have an art class? No. I had Mr. Wasco. Right. He was my art Mr. teacher. Mr. Wasco. Mr. Wasco. We learned quite a bit. He was a good teacher. Okay, I'm going over here. Are you talking to me? Who, me? Alex yeah, a little Alex yeah. Look at that. Well, I was. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Did I turn it in? What did Bob Ross teach me? <laughs> you got 10 minutes. Oh, look. Okay. okay. I don't think most people do 15 minutes for this. They probably get more time. Seriously. Briggs, I apologize okay. for your hand size. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not... Wait, what is this? This is fruit punch. I don't want fruit punch. <laughs> Fruit punch? That's the color. The color is called fruit Oh, punch. I want to drink it. I got it. hot rod red. That's not a ton. Right. I'm going to run out of pizza. Right? <laughs> just based on my skill. <laughs> <laughs> Today, that's whatever I want it to be. <laughs> Integrate some of these colors. Seth, you big painter there? Right. I could have tackled this shirt in some other ways. But... <laughs> Um, you look like a Lego. <laughs> uh, something like that. Exactly five minutes left. <laughs> five minutes? <laughs> I don't like that you came in and laughed at my family. <laughs> Keith, mind your own business. How about that? I love Roger wants to wear a flag. He can wear a flag. I love America. <laughs> yeah. Right? I would love to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's so funny over there, Seth? Done three minutes. Ah, three minutes. Okay. What a fun time! Wow, fun. you guys got so, got the colors going. No, we're, we're Hunter's colors. Hunter's got the Picasso. <laughs> Briggs got the nice. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Oh, Briggs got the that nice uh, colors, kind of just in their own world, which is great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's not a little judgy there, right? No. It's, 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 it's you see the difference between the two? <laughs> Why'd you make her a wacky, wavable, inflatable arm family too bad? Just enough time to draw one here. I know, I'll, I'll, probably, I'll probably go through each one and comment, but Hunter Biden brings his world so dark. <laughs> <laughs> she brings light into a dark world. Oh, there, there we go. you go. Put in lights, by the way. <laughs> 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 it's no. not working at all. 
So how do we feel? How do we feel that process went? Feeling like I might have won. Wow. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll stand over here. Let me, let me explain. Let me explain my inspiration. Yeah, please do. <laughs> it started with a red dress. I'm like, that's a cool red dress. So I'll paint the red dress first, and then it all went downhill from there. I think I captured the red dress pretty perfectly. <laughs> but then, <laughs> then it went wrong when I got to the hands. <laughs> yeah, why are the hands so big? Yeah, I drew two I large, disproportional. <laughs> two large potatoes for her hands. <laughs> She, oh, she's holding pom poms. She's like, yeah, you're there a cheer, you cheerleader. Oh, All right, let's see, hunters. Oh, 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 no, okay, that's that's pretty awesome. Right? Uh, we have Hunter the Patriot here wearing his uh, American flag colored button up shirt. Is that my headstone? What is uh, that back there? <laughs> Am I dying? Is that's that my funeral? That's your clicker! Oh, it's that's my clicker! clicker. It's a, oh, the most important no, piece of technology here at the station. It's like, so I only had about 20 seconds left. <laughs> here lies under. <laughs> uh, and then the weather in the back. All sorts of different kind of weather. Okay, that looks Shining really good. Shining on Hunter, thank you. And this is, yeah. Right. We were just talking about that, exactly. Nice. So there we go. I'm not nice. from the seven. Signed. Artiste. Signed so Ryan, seven. I won, right? I would have to say that's pretty <laughs> <problem>. Whoa! <laughs> Briggs won. Uh, but yes, uh, this is though a beautiful rendition of me. Thank is you, it? Hunter. I'm going to hang it down at my desk. I think it's lovely. There we I go. think you guys did wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. You have lots of potential. Thanks. We ain't no Bob Ross, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. yeah. Well, we only had 15 minutes. That could be an excuse. That's right? true. Yeah. yeah, Bob has a whole TV show. He's got 30 minutes, so. <laughs> at least. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> There's a future for you yet. Yeah, Sorry. I think there is. <laughs> well, great job, guys. Hey, after the break, my daughter achieves a major milestone. We'll share the adorable video coming up next here on Northern Life. Welcome back, everybody. Well, we love when Kendall joins us on Northern Life because she always brings sweet stories and updates about her <laughs> adorable daughter, Avalon, who yes. is almost nine months old now, if you can believe that. I remember when we shared the first photos of her after she was right. born on this show. It seems like it was just a minute ago. It was. It was yeah. definitely just a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, literally. It was a blindfold for us, too. We got True. to go and take you care of Avalon. Her, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that was, was sweet. Take care of her. Not take care of her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we babysat. Yeah. Uh, and this visit uh, from Kendall is no exception either. You caught a pretty special video over the weekend. Yes, major breaking news happened this weekend. Avalon took her first crawls. <laughs> It has been a process for oh. weeks now. She's been trying to crawl and she just hasn't figured it out. Um, but this little nature collage we made as a project really motivated her. Look at her, she got the arms down. There's one leg that she's still working on. Um, but she she gets to where she needs to go, I'll tell oh, you that. Oh, and look at her little arms just moving her forward. She's so strong. Oh, oh yeah. Look at just that smile. adorable, I too. Know. Oh my gosh, has she been crawling now ever since? Or is this, was it kind of like a, okay, I need to rest a few days now before yes, I try again? Yeah, to I took this video on Sunday. Okay. So it's definitely, sometimes you'll set her down and you look back and it's like, oh, where'd she go? And then other times she just wants to stay put. So. Oh, Sheesh. And you said yeah. you, you saw her kind of boost herself up onto something? She I like to pull herself up onto things now, so we have to be really careful with that because she doesn't know what's stable and what's not. Yeah. So we have to make sure she only has access to really yeah. stable things. It's actually kind of scary now. Yeah. Now she can go wherever she wants. We have a lot of baby proofing to do around the house oh now. Gosh. She's mobile. Yes, yes she is. That's she very is. cool. I'm sure with how hot it's been, it's been tough to get outside with Avalon, but you guys found a nice hack and uh, made it to the beach bright and early on Saturday, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, we wanted to get out and enjoy the weather. But like you said, it's been so hot, so we woke up at the crack of dawn and went out to Wisconsin Point because we thought that would even be uh, less busy than Park Point. And it's true, there was absolutely zero people out there where we were at. So <laughs> we put out a blanket, we made some coffee. The water, I was so shocked. Lake Superior was warm by my standards, enough to even nice. put some baby feet in there. Wow. And <laughs> what did she think of it, the water? Uh, she was very unsure. I think she tolerated it at first, <laughs> but then she was like, what am I doing? Like, where are my bath toys? And <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> am I going to get my hair shampooed anymore? You're right. Yeah. So that was such a blast. Oh, I love the yeah. watermelon blanket, too. Where did you yeah. get Thank you. That? That's cool. My friend got that for me. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I love so watermelon. Sweet. Yeah, it's my favorite food. <laughs> it's festive for summer. Uh, and with more hot weather, forecasted for this week sadly our viewer JJ in South Dakota sent us a message asking us what is the thermostat set to at our homes uh, I think mine is usually at like 
68 or 66. Yeah. Um, but sometimes yeah. even at night, I turn it down further though. Oh yeah. I really wow. like it just being cold, cold when I'm sleeping. You Northlanders. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have it at, Kendall? I think it's normally at like 70 to 72. Oh my I gosh. Think. Yeah. That's like tropical. That's hot. <laughs> <tropical, laughs> yeah. That's Florida in your house pretty much. I know, <laughs> right? I don't know. I, I just literally today installed my air conditioner. Oh, good for you. It's been a whole saga, but uh, it fell out of the window. Whatever. It was a whole story. Okay. But it finally made it in. And I have it set at 64 degrees. Oh, the, lowest it can, the lowest it can go. It's oh a little goodness. wall thing, so it's okay. got a lot of work to do. Yeah. We'll see what happens here. But, Dang, uh, 64. That is kind of cold. Oh, it's super cold, <laughs> but it feels nice when I go to bed because it's got a, it's downstairs and my bedroom's upstairs, oh, so it's okay. got to somehow make its way all the way upstairs. Yeah. Hopefully, I've got a series of fans blowing too. Are you so. missing winter that much? I, you just want to <laughs> recreate it practically. We're going fall. I'm kind of excited now. It's been too hot, but uh, we'll be right back about the air show after the break. Welcome back, everybody. Before we go, there's a free air show happening over the Twin Ports tomorrow. The Canadian uh, Forces Snowbirds will perform over Lake Superior. The show starts at 5 tomorrow evening, and while the best views might be from the Lake Walk or Canal Park, you might imagine traffic in that area is probably going to get pretty backed up, especially with the um, uh, construction work that's going on down oh, here. Sure, yeah. so, uh, the city was actually advising you to maybe consider some other options. Uh, they thought maybe the hillside would be good, uh, especially Skyline Parkway. Yeah. Good options yeah. to see this. Um, but yeah, the show's supposed to be pretty cool. It's also going to be uh, online live streamed too, in case you can't awesome. make it to Duluth. But uh, yeah, a free air show right over our skies. Oh my right gosh. our skies, over us. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I might have to park up on top of the hill. See there what happens. Yeah. Very cool, interesting. Um, Coming up tomorrow though, brushing your teeth is likely part of your daily routine, hopefully anyway. <laughs> what are, uh, but what if there are, uh, there is a product can't even read that made it uh, <laughs> made the process even easier. Rachel Mapperth is back tomorrow testing out another product. This one is called the Miracle Smile. So we'll have to see yeah. if this actually helps us brush our teeth or if it's if it's a bust like a lot of these yeah. products typically are. Oh, I, no. I was looking at the story. There was a dog in it earlier. Oh, so I was confused. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> have a great night. Find some time to throw a line. Just head outside to unwind That's the life in the great north woods Hike or bike, whatever you like Get out in the day, enjoy the night Yeah, we got the life in the great north woods Yeah, we got the life in the great north woods Yeah, this is northern life